Today I'm going to show you how you can batch recolor lots of designs in Photoshop all in one go. I'll show you two methods to do this. One will change a lot of white designs into black designs. The other one will completely change the color scheme of your designs. So to begin with, you want to create two folders and one of them is going to hold all of your designs which you want to recolor. And the other one will just be empty to begin with because that's where all the new files will be saved into. You might think I'm only doing this with five designs. That's not really useful, but you can literally do this with 50, 500 or 1000 designs. Just Photoshop is going to take longer to do all of the recoloring. Now, once you're finished with that, pull one of your designs into Photoshop, turn off the background layer and then locate your actions panel. Now, if you can't find this panel, then go over to window and tick actions over here. This panel is going to record all of the actions that we do so that Photoshop can then repeat them afterwards without us having to do anything. So the first thing you want to do is hide your background layer. So we've got a transparent background, then click this little plus symbol in the actions panel to create a new action. And in my case, I'm gonna call it change color to black, then hit record. Now right click on your design in the layers panel, go to blending options, tick the color overlay option, and change this color to black. Now obviously if you want to change your designs to a different color you can do that as well or you could even use the gradient overlay function for example which can also look quite nice instead of just having a plain color. Then hit OK. Now we've done that we want to head over to file, save a copy and then change the file type down here to PNG. Now we want to save it anywhere on the PC this doesn't really matter where but I'm just going to hit save on the desktop. I usually use medium file size here, you could use any of the other ones but um, obviously large file size is going to clutter your PC up and smaller file size might not be as high of a quality. Hit OK and then just wait until this little savings bar down here is done and you can then hit stop. Okay, now that our action is created, we can actually batch apply this action to multiple designs at the same time. Obviously, that's what we've come here for. And to do that, we want to first hide everything in our layers panel, then go over to File, Automate, Batch. Then you want to basically copy all these settings. Your action is going to have to be the action of change color to black. The source folder will be our white folder with all the original designs in them and the destination folder is going to be the empty one we created earlier. Copy all these settings over here, make sure the override action save as commands is selected as well and down here you can just change how the files are going to be titled. I typically just use the default settings for that and then hit OK. And as you can see now it's pulling in one design after another, applying the action and saving our file. So this step is obviously going to take quite a while if you have a lot of files or if you have a slow computer but uh, it's definitely worth waiting for because the manual work will take you a lot longer. And as you can see if we head over to a previously empty folder now we've got all of the designs saved in black instead. Now moving on I'm going to completely change the color scheme of these designs here. And once again it's the same setup where you have two folders, one with all of your designs that you want to recolor and the other one is empty. So once you've opened your first design up you want to click the little plus symbol again to create a new action and this time I'm going to call it change color scheme. Hit record. Now head over to the layers panel and at the bottom there's this little circle. You want to click that and select gradient map. You might want it to just be applied to your design which you do by alt hovering in between the gradient map layer and the design layer and you get that little symbol right there and left click. So if I left, left click again it detaches it, left click it's just applied to that cycling layer. Then click over here at the gradient map in the properties panel. Once again, if you don't see that, go to window and tick properties. And once you've opened that, basically play around with this color scheme to find one that you think suits your design best. There's a lot of presets here as well that you can make use of. For example, you have different options for blue color schemes or red ones. It's really a lot of variety, but you could obviously uh, add some swatches to these and make it a custom one that suits you better. So once you're done with the color scheme bit you want to click OK then go over to file, save a copy, once you can change the format to PNG and just save this on your desktop or anywhere else. Wait until the save is done and then stop the action in the actions panel. Then turn off all the layers, go back to file, automate, batch and we want to change this action to 
the one with the color scheme this time. Make sure you have the right folder selected. So the original folder and then the output folder is going to be recolored. All these other settings should stay the same as before and hit OK and just watch Photoshop do all the work for you. And there we go, as you can see, these are the recolor designs in our output folder. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that this method will save you a lot of time in the future. Now, if you like saving time, I think you should watch this video where I show you how to bulk apply texture to multiple designs at once using Adobe Illustrator.